Now away from that, the Inspector General of Police has asserted that the leadership of the Occupy Jubilee House protest has failed to provide evidence to back allegations of police brutalities against members of the group during last month's protest. The police was accused of manhandling protesters after arrests were made for unlawful gathering. The following report has more details. The Ghana Police Service has received flag for its handling of public protest in recent times. The police has resorted to the courts to stop protests they have deemed to be unlawful, a move many have criticized to be an attempt to trample upon the right to protest. During an engagement with leaders of the Ghana Private Road Transport Union, the Inspector General of Police denied these assertions. Regional Command in Accra has, have, has received two letters indicating some group they say they want to demonstrate from one, for one month, January I mean, 1st December to 31st December. Another group, they say they want to demonstrate and pick it for two months. And all of them want to be at one place. And that place is the Jubilee House. What, what, what is that? And you know that when you say you want to demonstrate in this period, you are trying to say that all of us, our right to make Christmas the day, the New Year, the day, they should be suspended because of some 200, 300 people who say want to demonstrate. If you go to court and plead with the court that this that they are coming to do, it will have issues with your own individual what? Rights, public safety, public security, and all that. And all what we need from them is that they can still demonstrate. But court, with all what they have said and with all what we are saying, help us and give us a guideline as to how the issue should be done. And they will be running to places and be making noise. Please, this time when they come. With this explanation, see them for who they are. During the Occupy Jubilee House demonstration, the police was accused of brutalities following arrest of some protesters. The IGP says leadership of the group has failed to provide evidence to back these claims. Police went there and then they said, no, what is doing is unlawful gathering. So they picked about 48 people up just to discourage even people from showing up the more. So that at the end of the day, we wait for the court to make a determination as to how the demonstration should go. As soon as they were arrested, they went around making all sort of allegations and all sort of noise and said, police has brutalized us, we have done this, have done that, have done that. I took it upon myself the following day to meet their leaders, some of them, and told them that if we have respected the process and allowed the court to tell us how we should go about, we won't get to where we are getting to. But because we have succeeded with all the propaganda and convincing the public that as if we are against you demonstrating, and also the lies about the fact that police has brutalized you, we will let you continue the demonstration, and you let you finish with all the days that you want to I mean, do the demonstration. But we will challenge you to bring any evidence that speaks to the fact that you were brutalized. As I speak, after months of completing that demonstration to today, not a shred of evidence have been brought up to indicate that police has been brutalized. But until I, I told you this, and you being here, you will have had a mindset based on what they were spelling out there that they were brutalized. 